Hello Scorpio, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading, whoever you're thinking about. That is who this reading is intended for. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you. We are looking at the person on your mind. Person on your mind, Scorpio. Their energy towards you. We have the Ace of Swords. The Judgment. The Knight of Wands. The Queen of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Two of Cups. Wow. We have the Eight of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck for their general overall energy towards you. And somebody is moving towards you very quickly. I feel like you should expect to hear from this person very, very, very soon, okay? Um, I really like that we have the Ace of Swords and the Judgment card coming out, literally coming out right next to each other. Um, it's like a double down on the energy is what it's feeling like. The Ace of Swords and their thoughts, I definitely feel like somebody is thinking about communication, thinking about how to express something to you. I do feel like with this Ace of Swords and this Judgment card, I feel like somebody's having some kind of like major realization here. Um, something is becoming very, very clear to them. Okay, so something that they were not seeing about you, about this connection before they are seeing now. Okay, and the Judgment card can also talk about um, like the Ace of Swords can be a card of a clarity, awareness, a breakthrough, right? A realization, something coming into your awareness. It could be communication. Um, but the Judgment card, it can talk about making major, deci making major decisions, big realizations. Um, it can also talk about a call to action. You can see this angel coming down with his horn, calling them to rise, calling them to take action. So this person is really feeling this push towards them. It's like they're realizing something and they're feeling this pull, this uh, call to come and express that to you. Okay. And the judgment card can also talk about reconciliation because he's, he's calling at him. He's rising these people up from the dead. So it's, it's like resurrecting something that was thought to be lost. Now they have the Knight of wands next and it does not feel inconsistent to me. It feels like desire and going for it. And that is what the Knight of, the Knight of Wands is a card of desire. Can he be inconsistent sometimes? Yes, because he goes from one desire to another, right? Whatever makes them feel good in that moment is what they shoot off to. I mean, that can make them a little bit inconsistent here. But I'm not feeling the inconsistent energy here. I'm feeling just that this is what I want and I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going for Scorpio. You know, that's what it feels like here. Especially with this Eight of Pentacles, like they're very focused on this. They're wanting to work on this. They've thought it through. They're wanting to invest. Seven of Pentacles, wanting to invest time, effort, and energy into this. We have the star card right under that. You know, wish fulfillment, healing. Now, the challenge here is the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands, as a challenge, one, it could have been that there could have been some nasty things said in the past. There could have been some really hurtful, like below the belt things said in the past. It could be hard to kind of forgive and overcome. That could be on both sides, you know. Um, the Queen of Wands is also a card of insecurity and confidence. Like I feel like this person may not feel very secure or very confident in coming towards you, uh, Scorpio. But I don't feel like they're allowing it to stop them, okay. I don't feel like they're allowing it to stop them. Now, they have the hair font as their next action. I like that. To me, this says that this person has learned some major lesson. The hair font can definitely be a card of lessons learned. Um, it also is a card of commitment. Like, I feel like somebody is like ready to come in towards you and recommit to this. Like They are very committed to making something work. Now, the potential outcome is the two of cups. I feel like at the very least, this could be a 
positive conversation between the two of you. Like you see, both people are, you know, face to face. They're like mutually expressing and listening to one another. I feel like at the very minimum, this could be a very positive conversation um, where this person is expressing whatever it is here that they've realized and you are listening and you're expressing your thoughts and feelings and they are listening. Um, so it can definitely just be a mutually uh, positive conversation. Now, it can also be coming back into alignment with the person. Absolutely. Um, so it looks very positive to me here. So whatever this person is realizing, they are seeing something about you or this connection that they did not see before. Um, it's definitely hitting them and they're moving towards you very, very quickly, Scorpio. Now the signs that I'm seeing, I see Virgo, I see all the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries. I see Sagittarius. I see Leo. Taurus and Cancer. Those are the signs I'm seeing, but it could be any. It is a general reading. Just because I did not mention a specific sign doesn't mean the reading can't resonate. It definitely still can. But that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.